this question, we're supposed to find a midpoint. Well, we're supposed to use the midpoint formula, but this one's a little bit strange because they give us the midpoint right here. This is M. They give us A, but what they don't give us is the other end point, so find B. So let's just write the midpoint formula down. Now, midpoint formula is an X and a Y. So I'm going to call them XM and YM for the X and Y uh, midpoint coordinates. Now this is also equal to, if we uh, call A, we'll call that P1 and B will be P2, point 0.1 and point 0.2, you average the X's together and divide by 2, average the Y's together, divide by 2. All right, we can just plug in values here. So here's our... Uh, X midpoint, which will be XM and YM for point 1, that's X1 and Y1, and we want to find P2 or point 2, which will be the X2, Y2. All right, this midpoint formula I wrote down is really two equations. There's an X equation and a Y equation. Let's write the X equation. It's this equals this. So I'm just going to write that down here. XM equals X1 plus X2 over 2. There's a, a vertical equation is the second YM, and then that is the Y coordinates that are equal. So I'm going to write that Y equation down here. YM equals Y1 plus Y2 over 2. All right, we're just going to fill in all the values that we know. We know XM is 1 x1 is negative 2. We don't know x2. We're trying to find that. Now for the y's, the y midpoint's negative 4. The y1 is positive 5. We don't know y2. We need to find x2 and y2. These are just equations, linear equations. We'll multiply in the left equation, multiply by 2. And that'll give us 2 times 1 is 2. Cancel the denominator, and all we need to do now is add 2 to both sides, so we get 4 is x2. Now for the y equation, we're going to do the same first step, multiply by 2. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, and on the right side, it cancels the denominator. Now I subtract 5, and we have negative 13 equals y2. So there's x2, y2 as a point, p2 equals... 4, negative 13. So that's our, not our midpoint, but that's our end point. Uh, and what this would look like, I'm not going to graph them accurately, but we have point 1, point 2, and then the midpoint M is in the middle. This one was a little weird because they gave us those two and asked what is the end point here. So we can still use the midpoint formula, we just had to use it in a slightly different way. Normally you're going to plug in values right here, and then you're going to find the x, y of the midpoint. But this question, the order is a little different. And let's uncover the answer for negative 13. Alright, I hope that helped you out.